answer How did we out with the doggies ball Where spurs are a jingling The cowboy is singing his lonesome cattle call Stays in the saddle till his day's work is done, and he rounds up the cattle each fall. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 singing his cattle call. For hours he would ride on the range far and wide till the cold winds blow up a squall. His heart is a feather in all kinds of weather. He's singing his cattle call. He's browned as a bear. From right in the prairie, and he sings in an old western draw. Singing his cattle call. So I'm gonna do that verse again because I messed up one of the chord changes, and probably no one would know, but it really bothers me. And uh, so I'm gonna subject you to another verse if I can remember said verse. Okay. Here we go. He's browned as a berry from right in the prairie, and he sings in an old western drawl I got at the time. Singing his cattle call. was the cattle call um, by Tex Owen uh, notably recorded by Eddie Arnold and uh, I learned that from uh, my own private Idaho it's the op it's the opening scene um, can I curse on this is that okay what's yeah. the oh I, think so. I know there are children in the room so maybe maybe cover your ears yes, you may. Okay, well, in the very opening scene, uh, River Phoenix looks down this big abandoned highway and uh, he said, that looks like a fucked up face, and that song came in. So that's, that's why I learned that. Um, so this is a song called Rusting and Ready. Um, so this, is, uh, this was based on a poem by um, Jose Gonzalez, and I, I got a grant a few years ago to write songs based on books that were in the Minnesota Book Awards, and this was a, a poem about uh, an abandoned MX missile silo, which was uh, sort of exciting to me because I grew up right on the border of Colorado and, and Wyoming, and there were a bunch of silos up near Cheyenne, and you can see them. So anyway, there's a song. White sun beating down on an ocean. Wheat fields blowing ripples at the passing of the atmosphere. Beneath his skin is something in his hand turned into the past. You know what? I'm gonna look at the lyrics because I haven't sung this song in ages. Um, this is obviously a professional operation, and I, I thank you for being with me. It's the interwebs. The interwebs make me nervous. 
If people heckle me, I feel good, but the, the interweb, interweb can't heckle. White sun beating down on an ocean. Wheat fields blowing ripples at the passing of the atmosphere. Beneath their feet is something still, a concrete kind was passed. An answer to a question we hope is never asked. Waiting for the perfect time to sing its silence heard No echoes in the grasslands, the sounds are swallowed fast The red phone rings and coats are passed, it's time to sing it last Rushing over arctic air, a promise to Leningrad Rusting and ready Rusting and ready Bristling with antennas where the virgin hills were slashed Barbed wire boredom where the rarest of traffic will pass For those on watch, escape will come via country road and jeep For those who live these fields, the sown seeds run too deep The warhead is a mascot Tower that loves its town, almost invisible, but for radar and the cows. Rusting and ready, rusting and ready, rusting and ready, rusting and ready. Thank you. I'm going to adjust the capo and play another song. Um, this next one is called My Bird, which is uh, mostly original. But the, uh, well, the chorus is, is modeled off of um, His Eyes Are on the Sparrow. Does anyone know that one? In the interweb, does anyone know that song? It's, a, um, it's actually a, a New Orleans kind of dirge. And uh, it's a beautiful song, but it is sort of a gospel song. And uh, yeah. Anyway, it's a beautiful song, and I wrote my version of it, which is not as beautiful, but um, I like it all the same.
It's the fat kid. Sorry. Boy, they're fat too. Yeah. Yeah. No need to be sexist. This is actually kind of an autobiography, um, but it's called the Fat Kid, right? It's his bike in the snow. Stutter climb 
comes another rung. Past prairie, dark towns and fence posts bleached And the streetlights reach to the edge of town Fingers all taped to handlebars My tires leave jagged scars and snow to prove I've been I ride my bike through drifts of snow Well, don't you know Stainless steel Line up at my heel And we're away Am I never Stop at all Do the buildings Turn in just tall And the sleet stings Into my eyes And the cold
Amongst uh, my many faults is I have really bad ADD, so I get a wandering all over. And when I was doing that first song, I hadn't sang that in a long time. And I, I was talking to Rich yesterday. He's like, oh, you should play, you know, at least 45 minutes, maybe an hour and a half. And I thought, oh, crap, hour and a half. So got to relearn some songs. So I dug that one up, and I was thinking about the lyrics. And uh, um, it was kind of weird. It, we were talking about books. And uh, the whole point of that story is sort of when I was a little kid, I'd have to walk to school uh, across these prairie dog fields because I lived in this kind of uh, little pocket of a neighborhood and there was all this undeveloped land to walk to high school. So I'd see prairie dogs in the morning, like walking through the snow and it's kind of about that. And Anyway, there's this one line in there about uh, the stutter climbs another rung. And in the middle of writing that song, I realized I was reading It by Stephen King. And it's about the, uh, I can't think of the character's name, but he's the kid that stutters mm -hmm. and then it comes back when he grows up. Anyway. Sorry. Um, yeah, what kind of song should I play? Hmm. Another happy one. Well. Another dancing <laughs> one? Um, let's see if I can remember. This is a new song. Uh, I probably don't need the words. Uh, this is called, uh, called Parade of Matchstick Men. Um, I am going gonna, gonna to try to play the keyboard. So I haven't actually been singing in ages. I've been working on film scores. Like what? Well, um, so uh, I was going to work on uh, this film called Greed, which is from 1923. And um, the plan was we got a commission to write this film score, and four of us were going to fly out to this uh, ghost town opera house in Death Valley. So it's part of the Mojave Project. And so what they do in November, it's this old opera house. And this is the story behind this opera house is there was a ballet dancer from New York, and she was a professional ballet dancer, and she would tour all over the country with these companies, and she was in LA, and they had a few weeks off, so she and her husband went out to Death Valley, and her car broke down outside of Death Valley Junction. And so someone to get her car, someone came out to get her and stuff, but they were stuck in the desert in this old town that was abandoned. It was a borax mining town. Um, but there was this little old opera house, completely abandoned, and she saw it, fell in love with the place, she bought it, and um, so when she was retired from being a dancer, she spent three years painting these frescoes all over the hall. And so she painted this imaginary audience. And so she was out there dancing one day, and a photographer from Life Magazine just happened to see her. So it was on the cover of Life Magazine, and it became this tourist spot where people come from all over the world to see her dance, and it's called the Amargosa Opera House. And so every November, they have a film score in this tiny little opera house. And so I was writing uh, the score for a movie called Greed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but then COVID happened and yeah. they canceled it. But I guess part of the thing was is uh, most of the tourists who come out for this thing in Death Valley are Europeans. And so mm -hmm. um, they basically shut it down. Well, anyway. Tuned, I guess, huh? So we're supposed to do it in, in 2022. But um, I'll play, uh, I'll probably mess it up. Most of the stuff I'm writing, um, you know, I'm no taking it all out for a four-piece ensemble. Um, so, but this is kind of the main theme uh, from this movie, Greed, um, which it's a, it's a really dark movie. So I guess, <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, but this is like part of the main theme. So it's this kind of drony thing that's in octaves. It's like super open, and every character has this little modal melody that we're working on. So this is kind of like all the characters in their little modal motifs before it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, G, Mr. Wizard. Okay, so here's uh. Your teeth in bedrock looking more for your 
do a, a, another uplifting one. Um, <laughs> this is a song called Night Swimming. Um, uh, before that, I'm going to do kind of a little instrumental thing that I wrote for a bigger group, but I, it's called The Grass is Always Greener, which is named in honor of Neil deGrasse Tyson. Lightning 
strikes make us visible again Clouds my weep Miles away Now I swim in Stay in the lake while the storm closes in Ceilings drop Satellites sink low questions or anything or uh... uh tim kershoff says that it sounds good and he heard that from seven to eight is joke joke hour <laughs> um yeah so there's yeah. a bear in montana oh yes i know three jokes <laughs> and i i tell them over and over again i asked i asked juniper what i should ask you for a funny question you want to ask she said, what does the snail say when it rides on the turtle's back? Uh, I don't know. What does the snail say when he rides on the turtle, turtle's back? Whee! Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> does that mean he's French? <laughs> yeah. Is that green? Is that a joke? I don't know if that would be. Well, in honor of... Uh, Children's jokes. I'm gonna play a, a morosely <laughs> dark song now. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, this is a song called uh, Tinder. So it's um it's about taxidermy. Um, <laughs> So uh, it's, it's sort of a protest song. I, I'll play another one, but I, I sort of went these environmental sort of, not really protest song, but I really like visceral imagery, you know, just in your face. So it's, um, it, it's a song about a deer who's on a wall and he's trying to figure out where his legs went. <laughs> there you go. Um, so to, to change the subject, I'll do a song after that about trees, uh, which is about when I was a little kid, and I grew up in a very small town, kind of on the plains, and we basically had one big tree, this big, huge pine tree. So it was, uh, it was the good climbing tree. You guys don't have that problem around here.
time we spend Catching underneath our lids My side is split Hanging over needle and thread mm. I still seem gaze Throughout time through tooth decay My spine is lodged Underneath God and debris Laid me in trash No living soul No dignity My very own rusty can my head My body separate And the cotton Underneath my skin Hang me to a wall I cannot feel my limbs
rush through split asphalt trailer park sun burns white shoulders seldom seen damned lion stains on scrutiny Ascension through the narrow and branches above us. Line up your courage, shift weight, leap fingers, grasping giant stand. much smaller than from ground thank you thank you Any, any questions, <laughs> comments, topics for conversation? Let's see. Hold on, I gotta talk for a second. I have a question. Where do you live? Um, you're from you're from the plains, which I gather is Colorado. Uh huh. Yes. Yep. With one big tree. Yep. Uh, we live in Minneapolis. Presently, you're in Minneapolis. Minneapolis, thirty uh, eighth and twenty sixth. You're here today with your daughter, Sadie. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Sadie. The age of 10. I'll give a shout out since we're talking. Shout out to Rich on the video and Bryce on the sound. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, the kids are here making clay ornaments and telling me all about it in the middle. Um, we have a personal connection, Paul, you and yeah. I, that I haven't mentioned yet. Oh. is the Magic Smell Puppet Troop. Oh, yeah. You are, I know you through the Brass Messengers. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. you're more popular, commonly known through the Painted Saints. Yeah, although we haven't done anything yes. in years. It's been a while. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's Hopefully. cool. That's a good Duluth um, connection. We love yeah. the Brass Messengers up here. The magic Smelt. Did you guys, what, is it happening this year? Or it no, was, yeah, it's always on Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. And Juniper and I are always um, part of that with the troop, but... We're usually in costume, so you probably yeah. don't recognize us. Yeah. It's a fun event. Uh, yeah. So here's a question. Uh -huh. What is your favorite Magic Smelt memory? Do you have any? Um, I have some weird ones. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or the weirdest. Well, the problem with Magic Smelt is, is uh, there's kind of a break in between. So, you know, we play uh, down by the bridge and everything, and then we usually take a, a break. At, there's like the cider house there. Right, halfway between. Yes. So the usually. The station. Right, right. So usually yep. the first half of the parade is real sharp in my memory, but then yeah. after that, <laughs> yeah, little little cloudy. Um, yeah. For us all. Yeah. So yep. so yeah, my favorite memories of Smelt are, are um, I guess, at the lift bridge because that's. In Canal Park yeah. when we're playing around. Yeah. 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 We love you guys. Yeah. Uh, here's another random get to know you question. What's your favorite uh, Jim Henson Muppet? Uh, well, I don't know if it's necessarily a Muppet, but I think my favorite uh, Jim Henson moment, I would say, is in Labyrinth, where she falls down the tunnel, and there's the, uh, the helping hands. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's pretty cool. I love that. Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't? You <laughs> can't argue. Love you can't argue with the helping hands. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think what song. I honestly don't have too many, uh, but, um, oh, I, I've got a song. Don't um, forget about the, um, are you going to play the Margie Preuss inspiration oh, yeah, song? Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe it's too soon for that. Uh, it's never too soon for okay. another depressing song. So the back, um, 
the backstory of this is that, as you mentioned, the Minnesota Book Awards, you got a grant to yeah. write songs based on that. She's a Duluth author yeah, of so, children's um, books, yeah? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so this was, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe like four years ago, three, three, four years ago. Um, but yeah, I had an artist initiative grant to uh, do this project where I wrote songs based off of books that won Minnesota Book Awards. Mm -hmm. So she did a, a children's book called uh, West of the Moon. Did I get that right? West of yeah, the Moon. Yeah, West of the Moon. That's what Sadie said. And yeah. it's, a, it's a really good story, and I, I guess theoretically it's a kid's story, but it's pretty dark. Like mm -hmm. there's... Um, as all uh, the best children's tales are. Yeah. So it, it kind of has some Norwegian uh, folk elements and stuff. And there's the Hulder, which is like sort of these creatures that steal children. They're involved in it. Um, they're like <laughs> mystical creatures that live in the woods. And basically this mother, um, she had three kids and they were separated. And then one of them takes a, a boat to America. Is that right? It's been a long time. Anyway, so these kids are all separated and horrible things happen to them. And then more <laughs> horrible things happen to them. And then there's a happy ending, um, right? Yeah. It's, anyway, it's been a long time. <laughs> so um, this song is uh, it's called We Red as Blood and White as Snow. Um, so yeah, yeah. So actually what I'll do too, I mean, it's the internet, so no one's going to throw a tomato at me. But um, So I started another uh, piece for that song that we never really did. Um, and we haven't recorded yet, but I wrote it out. It was, it's a, a thing called Goat Beard, because one of the, sort of the villain, I don't know if he's the villain, but he's, he's a bad guy in the, in the book. They call him Goat Beard. So this was an instrumental thing that we were doing called Goat Beard. Awesome. Then I'll play the song. Okay. And um, you will all cry, enjoy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs>
quiet child in trade For the real daughter not hold the maid The girl who's left twice Spins alone with the silken thread Demons not chased by the lead Switched sisters, thirteen years too late. There you go. Mar Margie Boyce. Um, um, yeah, I'll do, uh, I'll do some more uplifting ones. Uh, and then I'll... <laughs> so that song actually was interesting. I haven't done that in a long time. And thinking through the, the lyrics, it's... Um, yeah, it's about this... Uh, the mother in the story, she's, she dies pretty young. And so she doesn't... Her, her children kind of go off in these different uh, places. So the whole point of the song is that she's, it's a, a mother under stone, and she basically sees her children when she's dead. And they come to her grave at some point in the book, and they don't realize that that's their mother's grave. And so they're standing on the stone, and you know, they feel something's, something's going on, but they have no idea what it is, and they don't realize that they're on their mother's grave. So anyway, um, that one, by the way, I didn't just decide, oh, I'm going to write this depressing song about a depressing book. That one was chosen for me, by the way. So just, just putting it out there. Um, this is a song called Tar Sands, uh, which is about the Canadian tar sands.
want a slow one or a slow one? Okay. Um, I have to find my guitar pick. Take your time. Yeah, but the request was for something fast. So you gotta, you gotta give the people what they want to a certain degree. going to contradict myself. I said you got to give the people what they want and I'm not sure that's always best. And we get a president like we have. Although no one really wanted him. That's that's a anyway. Close enough for the internet. on bended knees through broken glass scattered meandering still streams I never thought I'd see a telephone saddled up rattle its tail to warn the strike the fatal bite of ever in tide long long nap to set me free into blocks in town shine a light as I pass by to say hello graceful sticks of all of delight I built this town in dreams of speed and hay fever weeds with rusty nails and holy nerves of octopus disease oh 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 I never thought I'd see A two-foot-tall picture of myself at my knees With an upward glance of elegance in place Please don't go through that door And so I'm wandering to and fro It's time left to dove in the blow Solving algebra with graceful nicks on my sleeve My initials have been stitched In every lover to whom I have ever scratched an itch Oh, uh-oh Oh, uh-oh A slow, what I'd like to think is a pretty one. It's 
So usually I bring a ton of guitars so I don't have to deal with tunings. And uh, I love this guitar, but I've never tuned it down this low. And I realized it, uh, it's not good for tuning low, it's, it's kind of soggy. But anyway, I digress. Um, this is a song called um, Trumpets Ring Epithets on My Footsteps. I'm a fan of brevity. Spilled the margins, pole, car keys singing lost. My wallet has been open to the cause that is lost. This so coat has a hole in his pocket, spilling breadcrumbs to remember where I've been before. Trails worn bare from shoes with the toes hanging free. Bound of pavement in this blistering heat. And all that I know from wandering so, the swarms of facts and the figures sting, and it's all above my head to under. Tonsils scream elevated epithets at the things I forget. The height of my powers holds things far above my pig grade. Laramie grasslands seems the perfect place to take a stand. Free of the singing birds of cell towers and perfect digital recall and all that I know in wonder and so the swarms of facts and the figures sting and it's all above my head to understand blind constellations guide my own Trumpets ring epithets on my footsteps Looking at the skies when I should be washing my footsteps Sebedo in some halogato Wandering so The swarms of facts And the figures sting And it's all Above my head To understand Thank you. Thank you. I think I'll play one more song if that's all right. Yeah. Um, if, if there are any questions or points of contention, um, <laughs> matters to be debated or and or tabled to the next meeting, this would be your opportunity <laughs> to, to bring that to the fore. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what you've been doing um, outside of yeah, yeah. You know, the painted saints. We haven't done anything in years. Uh, it's been a while, but I still play with most of those people. But we, um, yeah, I got a grant to do kind of a bunch of music for for film, and uh, so I was 
I was in England with Jim White years ago, and so someone approached me who was doing this film about a Russian clown named Slava. So um, everyone should know it's not, I mean, he, like when you say Russian clown, it doesn't mean like crazy makeup and, you know, pulling rabbits out of their hats. It's like, it's a real art form. It's like a mime as an art form. And so Slava the Clown is a big deal. He travels all over the world and people love him. So my friend was doing a movie on him and he asked me to score it. So I wrote all this, this music and then they never really finished the film for years. Um, so I, anyway, I took all this music and I got a grant to make my own films out of this music. So we did that and we had the record. And then um, they did actually finish the film. It's at festivals right now and I have two pieces in there. And um, Steve, who made this film, just kind of did it on a whim and he spent years doing it, but he ended up getting uh, Helena Bonham Carter to, to narrate it just because she likes Slava the Clown. So anyway, I was doing that and I started writing all this film music and then I did some music for Glass, the M. Night Shyamalan movie. Um, so I've mostly been writing kind of stuff like that and then um, working on a silent film for Greed and then I've been doing TV music. So I sit in my basement and um, play with fake drum beats and write bad television music. So I've been doing uh, that a lot lately. So I'm, I'm working on a, an album of, uh, they wanted kitsch vintage oddness. So I'm doing 10 instrumental pieces for this music library in, um, in LA. So yes, that's it. And I'm, um, that's it, yeah. Yeah, it's called Slava's Journey. Um, everyone should look it up. It's a, it's a beautiful film, and so it's he's been, um, you know, they were going to go to all these festivals, and of course because of COVID, uh, the the live festivals are down. But most of them have uh, internet, you know, streaming festivals. So, um, but yeah, everyone should uh, he he's, yeah, everyone should see this film. It's really beautiful. Um, the footage is really cool. So basically, the story is Slava. He, he has a clown compound outside of Paris, and I, that's it. I mean, he's, he is pretty wealthy from being this famous clown. And so he built a clown compound, which is this beautiful, like, you know, they, there's like little lakes in there, and I mean, it kind of looks like a Gaudi uh, architecture kind of thing, and it's super cool. So he decided, he does, it's Slava's snow show, and he decided in the, the coldest winter on record that he wants to go back to, to Siberia in the middle of winter, to, to do the show up in Siberia. So the film basically follows him as he goes back up through Siberia. So it's kind of a documentary, but yeah. Anyway, Steve, who made this film, is one of the nicest humans you'll ever meet, so everyone should go see the film. Slava's Journey, it's good stuff, good stuff. Thank you. Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna, this, is a, this is a song called um, Fatal Flower Garden which is from the Harry Smith Anthology of Music, which is where I heard it first. And then, um, this was like, I don't know, 10 years ago. I had never really heard of Andrew Bird, but everyone says, you know, you're ripping off Andrew Bird. It's like, okay. So then I listened to the Andrew Bird version of the song, so I am going to rip him off. <laughs> the rain you poured, the rain so hard, the rain so hard a day. Till all the boys in my school came out for toss and play. We threw the ball up so high, then again down so low, till it fell into a flower garden where no one's allowed to go. First, oh wait, and then a tipsy gypsy lady. Oh, dressed in yellow and green can come here come here my pretty little boy and get your ball again i won't i won't i shan't come in without my playmates all i'm gonna go and tell my father about it and then the tears will fall First she offered an apple seed and then a tangerine Then she offered a diamond that seemed to do the trick to pull him in She led him by the lily right hand and took him up the hall She took him to an upper room where no one could hear the call Bye. 
shovel at my head and a testament at my feet if my dear mother should call for me won't you tell her that i am asleep bury the bible at my feet and a testament at my head if my dear mother should call for me won't you tell him that i i am Ending on an E minor and the word dead. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Um, thanks, Rich, for making this happen. And uh, thank you all so much. Thank you. Yeah. Do you want to say you want to show your, your, uh, your work? Oh, yeah. Let's, should we see the, the monster collection? Yeah. yeah. Should, we, should we bring them up here into the light? Or, uh, Oh, yeah, um, good so, stuff. Um, if, uh, if you can, um, I think we kind of go gently. Should we put them right here? So these, nice, nice. This is an emoji. Okay, cool. Who, who, made the, uh, who made the mermaid? Nice, cool, good stuff. Cool. Nice, nice. Cool. That's good stuff. So I think we'll uh, heat up the oven, get these guys in there. If anyone would like to buy uh, an artifact of the evening, um, these are going for $10,000 each, which will be going to college funds for these children. So probably won't end up happening. Never know. Okay, 5000 5000 each for the college fund. Anyway. One way to find out. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Very nice. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Take care.